Hello everyone welcome back to 3D printer art. Today we make camera slider that has so many amazing features. For example, it can move forward and backward and you can control the speed. The slider automatically stop when hit the limit switch. By adjusting this two screw it can rotate while sliding. I designed left side like that so can you turn it 90 degrees With that you can record your video in 90 degrees and still rotate the camera By losing these two screws you can extend legs up to 20 centimeters It is very useful for capture video by angle In this video I'll show you how to make this, it is very easy just follow my steps. So let's get started. I designed this slider by Fusion 360. You can find all CAD file in description. All parts take around 50 hours to print. If you use 0.8mm diameter nozzle. My printer failed, well I printed this part. So I printed remaining part, and joined them by glue. I decided to paint all parts, because not all my filament has same color. Ok let's begin assembler all parts. I started from the center of the slider. You need 5 liner bearing. 4 of them for this part and 1 for rotation mechanism. This is bottom of the center part. I use two bearing for rotation mechanism because it is more stable. This part is some loose. The paint tape fixed the problem. Be careful not to break 3D printed parts, if you use hammer.
All bolts and bearings to mention can be found in the link of description. Next we need assemble top of the center. I remove the cover of the motor speed controller because it takes so much space in the electronic box. The electronic is so easy. Because I'm not using Arduino, so no coding in computer needed. This is called DPDT switch. It is used to reverse the rotation of the motor. And this is limit switch. I'm using it to stop the motor. If you don't use it the motor won't stop and crash into the side of the slider. Use this diagram to connect all electronic components. I'm always test all electronic components before moved into the box. Connect DPDT switch and potentiometer to the door of the box. You need drill the pulley depends of the type motor you use. I'm using wiper windshield motor because it has gearbox and give you a good amount of torque, especially if you have a big heavy camera. This is the left side of the slider.
I designed this bolt cover. It is help you to loose and tight bolts. You need 3 linear shaft, the middle one must be 4 cm smaller. Make sure each side has same length. Ok time to install the belt. Install limit switch for each side and test it. Finally tight the linear shaft. And you good to go. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. And press the bell icon for do not miss any future project.